was it like to get out there and kind of play some five on five, be competitive? Uh, it was fun. You know, it was a little bit weird. Uh, I think it was definitely, I mean, weird or different, however you want to call it, for, for all the guys getting back to five on five because it's been a while. Uh, we got a couple runs in this week uh, back in Miami, but I think it took a little bit of time to adjust. Um, you know, just to the speed and the physicality and the calls, uh, and just you know the flow of, of playing ten guys out there on the court. Um, you have to do a lot of things to, to figure out your spacing and 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 play as a team. You know, we a lot of us have gone through this process. We're used to now three on threes and two on twos because of the the pre draft workouts, but. Took a little bit of time, but I think we did all right. What are some of the things that he had said they want to see from you? What do you feel like you've got to put on the floor? Um, you know, I don't even think it's necessarily what they want to see from me, but but from the whole team. You know, everyone that they that they brought to this summer league, they um, they want us to bring maturity and, and hustle and a team spirit and just be able to 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 be a guy that no matter what position you are or how much time you get, you go in, you hustle and. And, and do what you can to contribute to the team and the team's success. This organization has a long track record of letting guys that were on the summer league team get an opportunity, not only training camp, a lot of guys have made their roster. What was it about this situation that was appealing to you? Uh, it was that, you know. Uh, it's the history of, of the organization. And, you know, I came in for a pre-draft workout and, you know, could just tell that the way that things were run in Miami, it, you know, it's smooth, it's good, it works, it's super professional and you know I really like the feel that I had while I was there and then again as you mentioned before they have a history of taking guys that weren't drafted or were in you know different situations took different paths like uh, I have myself and turn them into players uh, that could contribute to the team and the team success and so that's what I'm hoping to do myself. Pace and space very different at the NBA level. Do you find that it suits your game? Look good. Uh, yeah I mean I think it suits anyone's game who's in shape and, you know, I feel like I'm in good shape and I'm good to run as much as you want me to. And, um, you know, hope to continue just to get in better and better shape so I can be out there even longer. At what point in the first game do you get comfortable? What point did kind of the jitters and all of it go away and it's just passing? Uh, I think once I finally got out there, you know, on the bench um, to begin, I think I was definitely thinking a lot, you know, worrying about this or that. But, I mean, once I got out there, just like how it was in college, I felt all right. When you're in this environment, do you, is there a risk of trying to do too much? Or do you just, are you a player that can just stay in your lane? Um, you know, I think that is a risk for everyone. They want to maybe silence the critics or for whatever reason they didn't get picked by this team or that team, you know, maybe show that they can do that. But, you know, we were encouraged in camp with the Heat, um, as I'm sure a lot of teams encourage their players to do, just to do what you do and do it well. Um, hustle. Play hard and then do what you've always done, because uh, that what that's why they brought you in 